guys feeling the energy feeling the fire is it a Saturday night <laughs> is it a Saturday night <laughs> you know that was actually really difficult because we're live on the air right now and we normally curse in that song <laughs> So Holly and I were like, okay, let's say it instead of shh, right? <laughs> Except I said shh and she said it. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah. There's like a button back there, a big red button. <laughs> we're gonna like this fall. Whole thing. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> it's really good to be here. Thank you so much. We get to play a beautiful theater with, in one of our most favorite, most precious cities, sponsored by one of our very favorite radio stations in the entire country, wearing these fabulous dresses, might I add. We get to do things like this. <laughs> with these incredible strings, the laurels, your very own, and our gentlemen, of course, who are all wearing glitter tonight, might I add. If I'm losing 
losing ground. I'll turn to someone else. They only let me down.
everyone feeling? <laughs> feeling good, like excited and chill and like you want to party but you're also really happy you're seated in a beautiful theater. <laughs> That's my idea of a good time. <laughs> Last night I had a giggle attack at this very moment. It's not gonna happen tonight. I'm putting it out there, it's not gonna happen. Because yeah. it's a sad song, yeah. and we don't laugh at sad songs. <laughs> right, Holly? I don't. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to get your moral support. <laughs> You're laughing, by the way. You set this up to laugh. She, you know, this has been like a, a thing. We, it's like laughing in a really inappropriate time. I mean, that does happen to me. That happens to everybody. Yeah. And this has been happening Yeah. before this song. So I'm inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. I mean, our, we both are. We okay. all are. All right. It's not going to get any more inappropriate. <laughs> Because we're live on the air. Sorry. I made it totally awkward, but that's what I'm good at. <laughs> I'm not gonna, we got this. We got this. <sighs> I really do. <laughs> Let me just have a moment. I'm just going to have one sip. Of tea. It, it really is tea. Everybody's going, mm hmm. <laughs> I just face Who's playing? Oh, that's Terry. Okay. He's giving us the cue that we're taking too long. <laughs> Make this, you know. Okay, great. <laughs> Really nice. You can 
Thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh man, I nearly swore then, but I caught myself. <laughs> You're allowed to say That sounded pretty good. Thanks. <clears throat> oh, I know you lost. The world is cold and you forgot. Yet your jacket and your shoes. What's there to lose? And oh. To never know the reason why You, we talk about today Like the girl who got away The only one you ever wanted You, you hate how much she means She's been To never know the reason why You, you talk about today Like the girl who got away The only one you ever wanted You, you hate how much you need like a curse sounds like a dream don't know what it means but it means everything feels like a curse sounds like a dream don't know what it means but it means everything
to rescue me But thankfully didn't get the best of me It's not worth the fuss It's not worth my time I could lose it but I'd be out of line
too, me too. We went to Paisley Park today. And, and uh, yeah, so at Soundcheck, we were like, wait a minute, we should try and squeeze this in. Uh, it worked out, right? It worked out. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> well, we want to thank our very, very, very dear friends, Pure Bathing Culture, for coming on the road with us for opening up tonight's show. They're such incredibly talented people, and what's more is that they're such incredibly wonderful human beings, and we're lucky to call them our, our dearest friends, and we're lucky to get to hear them every night and see them every morning on the road and get to just bask in their wonderful glow. So we're going to invite them out for a song. About a year ago, we collectively um, lost a very, very uh, close friend and collaborator of ours. Um, his name was Richard Swift. He was an incredible songwriter, producer, engineer, musician to the highest degree. He could play anything. Uh, every musician that knew him wanted just to be around him to somehow absorb his just incredibleness. Um, he really was a magical guy. He produced records for uh, Nathaniel Rateliff and Foxygen, um, for The Shins, Damien Dorado, David Bazan, et cetera, et cetera. He was a, um, a drummer for the Black Keys for a while. It, you've definitely heard him before and not even known it, I'm sure. And um, we started a foundation in his honor. It's called the Fug Yep Foundation. We lost him to substance abuse. So um, in his honor, we, we started a seven-inch record series, um, basically all of his friends and collaborators making seven-inch records um, with songs either recorded with him but yet to be released uh, or um, songs inspired by him. And um, there's a seven inch available in the lobby. There's seven in inches available online at fugyep.org, F-U-G-Y-E-P.org. <laughs> had to think about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and t-shirts and other things too, so please do check it out. Um, and this is a song he wrote. It's called Most of What I Know. gonna need your help, so don't be shy.
thank you so much. Um, 
in the last couple of days, and we did a poll um, on Instagram to see whether we should bring her out. This is Vienna. With a matching Yoda outfit. I mean, this is like, look at that. I love you. Okay, sorry. Oh, we're going to perform. <laughs> we're going to try this out. We're, you know, we're trying this out with you guys here. This is an experience. And, and hopefully you like it, Vienna. We'll see. And you can leave at any time. <laughs> she's like, as long as she she's like, Dad? <laughs> Unclear, Vienna is a dog. <laughs> a little tiny dog. In a Yoda outfit. Where you going? I don't know. I've killed a woman. <laughs> okay. okay, we're gonna do this again. Oh no, she's she's out. She's running. Thank you so much.
Thank you guys so much. Um, thank you for, I mean, that last song just got pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> the dog, and then I start, start, I started laughing, and then I swore twice. Hopefully, it, I, and, you know, it was like one of those things where I swore, and then I felt bad about that, so I swore at that. <laughs> and then, anyways, whatever. So basically, the radio audience won't hear that song. <laughs> They have the button that, like, mutes for, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> so that was a special experience just for us, guys. Yeah. yeah. We, went, we went on a journey tonight. Um, but thank you so much for being here. We, uh, you know, we roll into every city and, and, you know, arrive at the venue and drink our coffee and take a shower if there's a shower here <laughs> um, and, you know, sound check and, and all that stuff. But at the end of the night, the crowd is kind of our family. This is like our living room. You know, we're, we're out more than we are at home, uh, you know, most of the time. And so we so appreciate you being here and being able to uh, collaborate with you guys and, and, like I said, take this journey however weird it, it can get. <laughs> with you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and thank goodness for weird, weird rules. Um, I think the greatest lesson we've learned in all of this, um, all of this touring and all of the incredible experiences we've had and people we've met is... I guess it's really a dream or, or a hope is that you take one moment from tonight, one moment that we all shared together that brought you joy or peace or some lightness or made you forget about something that was the opposite. And you take it out into your everyday life, your, your life outside of these doors, and you spread it and you... you you pay it forward, whether it's to a stranger that you smile at as you're crossing the street or a neighbor you've been meaning to talk to and just haven't reached out, haven't cooked them dinner, or whether it's to call up your, your loved ones and tell them that you love them because we can never hear it enough and saying it means something and just active empathy active compassion, being able to show people that you care about them because it's a turbulent time in our lives for everyone, regardless of where you come from or what you believe. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a scary time, really, and we can make it better. We can. <laughs> okay. So with that... A little lullaby for the evening's end, and um, thank you again. A dream is a wish your heart makes when No man.